Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 23 of Terra Firma Punk. We are here on Grimcore's TF Punk server, and he is actually online at the moment. Um, I think he's doing a little bit of exploring. He said he just found some spawner in the middle of our mountain, which I've not noticed before. Uh, so I'm curious as to what that's going to turn out being. Uh, and we are here in the string farm. I don't think I ever really showed this off once it was completed. We've got our, our framed seat with some hickory wood in it. We've got our, our looms set up here and just a chest for random stuff. Nothing spawning while I'm out here. When you're sitting on the seat or you're in these, these blocks right up against the wall, the mobs do spawn and they die and the string ends up in these, in the, the chest here. And why, you might ask, are we farming string? Well, it's because today we are going to automate those apiaries we made at the end of last episode. And while that may not make it immediately clear why we need string, uh, we're in Terra Firma Craft. Nothing is straightforward in Terra Firma Craft, so I can't just automate the apiaries with no effort whatsoever. I need to farm some resources first. I need to go and basically get a whole ton of copper. So I am... Um, going to upgrade our bags. So let me just show this. Oh, he's just found a slime spawner. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Uh, one second. Wow, that kind of negates the point of us automating the apiaries today, but we're going to do it anyway, <laughs> because we need this stuff anyway. Um, but I'm definitely going to be looking into that later and see if we can get a slime, uh, slime farm going, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm just sitting here working through these the reason we need it all is to upgrade these bags. The, we, we have these 15 slot miners backpacks. I want the 45 slot woven backpacks and to make that you need woven silk. We have the carpenter now so that's not a problem. This just takes silk cloth and string. So I'm going to farm up a bunch of this. I want to make some carpet for the base as well. I've been doing a little bit of work on the lighting. I also spent some time just finishing off the, the mob farm we've been working on the last couple of episodes. Um, and it, it seems to work okay. Um, it is either or, unfortunately. It's either a double coal farm or a witch and red cap farm. Um, I can't find a spot even right on top of the spawner where all three spawners will work, which sucks. Bit annoyed about that, but it definitely works and it's handy to have all those things in farm format. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to be here for quite a while because I want to get a ton of this, of this silk cloth. Um, and I will cut back in when we're ready to craft up those, uh, those upgraded bags. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Hey guys, we made it back. We've got a bunch of, um, silk and string and stuff. And I thought I should show you this as well. Been slowly working through. We've got quite a lot of coal coke here now. Uh, so one, two, three, whatever, this'll do. It's fine. Let's shove this stuff in here. Sure, we won't need all of that, but whatever, that's fine. Leave that on because we want to make sure this pump is working. And if we come up here, we can start processing this silk. So this is going to need to be on at the very least. So I've got some silk cloth loaded in here. Turns out we need bone needles for this too. We make this just with chisel and bone. So I'm assuming we're actually going to need 11 of them. I don't know where my chisel went, so I had to make a new one actually. It's probably in a chest somewhere, but. We need to make this for the episode's sake. 500 mil buckets per woven silk. I'm probably going to need some more, aren't I? So I'm just going to go grab some more water. I mean, fresh water is fresh water. It's easy to get, so I don't mind if we overdo it and have to remove some of these. But I thought, while I was bored and had nothing better to do, and I was sitting in that string farm, um, I was kind of looking at the different backpacks, and I was thinking it might be cool to try out a few more of these. So just for the start of the episode, I think we're actually going to start producing um, a few different backpacks to try out. So for example, there's the Forester's one. And if this works and lets us pick up logs, that's going to be amazing for tree farming. And that just takes some hickory logs and like a chest, some wool, oh, that's wool cloth. Uh, let's go get some wool off of the sheep while that's warming up. Um, I guess we're going to need a bunch of wool cloth, actually. Let's see, where is my knife? Should probably make shears, but it'll be fine. I think we have tons of sheep over here. In fact, we might even have some wool cloth. Let's see if we've got any in here. No, no, we do have leather, though. That's fine. I'll process this off camera. just thought I'd grab it. 
Uh, I'm gonna make up a couple of these. Oh, they aren't familiarized. Yeah, this really is gonna take some some work, I think, off camera. Figuring out which ones are shearable and which ones are not. That's one. Two. Is that seriously it? Really? Okay, well, fair enough. Let's get rid of you. Oh, we even get it back. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and get a bunch of them made off camera, and then we can do a, just a quick little segment of testing them, I think. And if they're good, like especially that Forester's one, I might actually upgrade that one as well. Let's just see if this thing is done. This is not even finished heating up yet. I'm really, really, really glad we've got that coal farm going though now. Just having this backlog means I can just craft stuff like this whenever I feel like it. And there's loads more getting produced, so I can easily get more. How are these doing? This isn't actually working, is it? String, silk, cloth. Carpenter, fresh water, yes. Silk, oops. Silk cloth and string, is it? Oh yeah, it depends what, it. it's sensitive to which socket you put stuff into, so that's good to know. Um, I'm going to get a bit, bunch of crafting done off camera just because it's not gonna be any fun sitting here and waiting, and I will join you guys back in just a bit. Okay, those, uh, Woven silk panels are still working away. Tur turns out it takes a really, really long time, but I can understand that because it's the the upgrade you get is kind of overpowered. Forty five slots versus fifteen. We've got a collection here. We've got the foresters, backpack, miners, diggers, adventurers, hunters, and another miners. Because uh, I I want to upgrade two miners backpacks for these ridiculous mining expeditions we're going to be going on. Um, I just want to see whether one of these is going to pick up, like, mob drops. Let's just drop these on the ground and we'll see what happens. Something has. Hunter's backpack has picked up bones. Okay, you are a keeper. Drop you in there. So what is the adventurer's one going to be doing? Is that hunter's again? Yeah, I'm not... Entirely sure, because the recipe for the adventurer's one takes bones. I thought that was going to be the one that takes mob drops. Um, I guess that's the one that does that. Adventures. Is that going to be things like arrows, maybe? No, you don't pick up arrows. Um, I am not entirely sure where that's going to be, but I might keep it on me and we'll see if it picks up anything over time. The main one I'm worried about, though, is this lumber one. Let's go find a random tree to chop down. I don't want to do the whole forest because it's going to be effort, but let's just chop this thing down here and see what happens. Our axe with, I think it has efficiency. Yeah, efficiency four. Also bane of arthropods for some reason. Yes! Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this thing is also getting upgraded. So I'm going to take a cut and then I'm going to get all this stuff produced. We'll have another quick clip of me actually assembling the things because I'm basically gonna have to do that in the in the carpenter as well. I have a feeling this whole manufacturing process is going to take some time. Um, so I will do all the off-camera stuff. I'll show you the bags getting made or at least starting to create one of them and then I'm gonna go do a whole bunch of mining. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, yeah, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> We've got 10. 13 to go, so this is taking its sweet time. Uh, so I guess the mining is going to come later, but uh, a little birdie did point out to me that we could actually make the pipes without having to get all that copper, so that's what I've done. Started building up this building here. We've got plans for this. Hopefully by the end of the episode there's going to be a few rough things happening to this, just trying to get the, um, the shape of it laid out, you know? Um, out the back here we have our apiaries with pipes. Now... To make the non-colored version of these, you need to be using like the thermionic fabricator and all that kind of stuff, but if you make the colored pipes, slightly more tricky to work with, but I kind of prefer them because they're more organized. You can have like different colored of pipes running alongside each other and they won't connect, so you can get it organized that way. Um, these work just with like the normal crafting recipes, so that's what we've done. We need to power these wooden transport pipes. 
And to do that, we need to be making a, uh, well, there's lots of different ways you could do it. You could do it with redstone engines. It's definitely one possibility, but we are going to make, hopefully, a windmill just up here with a kinetic dynamo, start getting into low amounts of sustainable power for things like, um, you know, AF AFK automation, not for massive power generation, which we're going to use for various, you know, industrial machines. We're going to have some, like, slight passive generation for, like, the passive farms as well. Uh, and I've got these diamond pipes here. And I'm going to filter these. I, I don't know. I, I think the apiaries pipes need the ones that don't have the colored glass in them. So we're going to make do with these ones. Uh, there's just no point in me getting these going until we've got the power generation. And for that, I want to go mining. And I'm, I'm just being stubborn at this point. I could just go mining uh, without the upgraded bags. But I'm like, <laughs> that was the whole point of making these. I want to have the crazy upgraded equipment and we're going to go mining with that and test it properly. So that's what I'm waiting for. Um, so I was just going to go and farm some more silk while I'm waiting for this thing. But it turns out I've been warned by Grim that if I leave these chunks unloaded while the carpenter is running, it's going to reset its progress. Um, so I've got a plan for that which is to make a world anchor. So we're going to need four gold, two obsidian, which I just went and got over the lava by our base there, an ender pearl and two diamonds. So let's see if we've got that. Pretty glad we went mining for all those diamonds now. So we got two diamonds. We can get more as well. Oh, I think we've got gold in there too. Is it two or four? Four. Four of those. Uh, let's just make sure we've actually got, yeah, we've got a few ender pearls, so that'll do nicely. Got this uh, framed fancy workbench here. Turns out you can put brass into it, so I'm gonna be making heavy use of that, doing like a mixture of brass and like hickory bookshelves all over the place. And I do kind of want to move over to these. I prefer them to the other workbench. They're just the way they look, and you put books in them, they look cool. I want to get like a bit of a library feel all around this place as I start decorating the interior of these buildings, but let's Let's see if we can do this. No, it won't let us. Okay, right. Diamonds. Gold in the corners. Obsidian. World Anchor. Now, I think this will give me something like 12 hours. I'm going to put it in this room just to be on the safe side. You go there. Wait for the World Anchor because I don't want it just to be loaded when I'm online. Um, I want it to be staying loaded until this is finished, basically. If I put one ender pearl in here, 12 hours, yeah, that should do nicely. These chunks are now loaded. So let's put our excess ones in here. We're going to have to really keep an eye out for um, endermen, I think, uh, just so we can keep that topped up as and when it is needed. And I, in fact, I'm going to grab my sandwiches from up there. I'm going to grab all my sandwiches. I'm going to go AFK in that silk for, farm for a couple hours. Um, hopefully this will be okay when we get back. Grab you and you. Don't, well. I'm just going to keep going for, for a while. Um, just make sure this thing has fuel in it as well still. Another 37. So yeah, we've probably got like another hour or two of, of power in that thing. And there's more, more in here. So, in fact, I'm going to convert all this. Because I want this to last as long as possible. I don't want it to run out while we're away. And this is going to be a proper test. We'll come back and we'll see whether it's continued to run. Um, let's leave you in there for emergencies. If it's continued to run while we're away, and hopefully it'll be finished. So, <laughs> bear with me, guys. I'll see you soon. Wow. <laughs> okay. Just, just to give you guys a little bit of context, it's now 1 in the morning, but we have... We have our first 45 slot bag, and this is going to be great for mining. <laughs> Man, that was, that was a long, 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 long time. Let's see, I'll put you in there. Are you going to detect you? Why aren't you... You've got Ruby. Let's see, if I put that in there, 
Yeah, it's gonna do one more if I do that. I'm gonna need another bucket of water. I wanted to see if I could just leave these running overnight. Because honestly, I am I am out of time. I've got work tomorrow, so I was hoping to get these finished today, go mining and finish all of this other machinery. But this has been a long, long slog. Let's uh let's get a, a bucket and put the extra thing of water in there. And I can at least leave it running, and at least the second bag will be done uh, by the time I get back on tomorrow. Um I've been basically just, ooh, let's get a bucket of water. I've been um, basically doing semi-AFK work for the last few hours, trying to get things prepared. So this has now got three, that's gonna be enough for these. This is, why don't you have the resources you need? Let's figure this out because I definitely need this to be working. Yeah. You here? Oh, I see. If I just uh, replace that middle one, I bet it would have worked. Yeah, now it's gonna work. Okay, right. That's great. Yeah, I've been basically doing like um, AFK work. Um, I spent ages at that spider farm. We've got a whole bunch of silk cloth here uh, and some spare string. I'm gonna need this to make the. Well, let me show you to make the. Where is it? the tough fabric and we need a whole bunch of those I really want these glider wings we need aluminum rods first um, to make these windmill blades we need eight of those to make the improved windmill and then we need to obviously get all the copper and everything as well from over in the the copper mine we haven't been to in ages and we're going to use that to make our kinetic dynamo and stick the windmill blade on it and then we can get our bees automated so that's going to be something I think for next episode now um, I'm going to have a think about this setup here with the pipes, because I'm not sure if I do want them all connected like this, or if I want to have each one individual, because, I mean, chests are cheap, so it wouldn't, wouldn't be the end of the world to have, like, a chest per thing, just so I can have a little bit more control about what's coming out of them and where it's all going. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll get into that. It means I can do a bit of mining before I start doing the next episode as well. I spent a load of time over at the, the Witch and Red Cat farm, too, and you may notice I'm back to... 1 XP, uh, level 1, sorry. Um, I've died twice. I went over there and I AFK'd for ages. I got a whole ton of, like, gunpowder and glowstone and stuff. And then I made the mistake of breaking a block and it let all of those cursed wraiths or whatever they are out. There were a lot of explosions, shall we say? <laughs> and, um... I got chased through a bunch of corridors, got murdered by a red cap as I was running from all those other things. And then when I went back to get my stuff, everything was dark and there were like lurkers everywhere and it was a bad time. I ended up getting destroyed by one of those books. Those tomes are the worst things in the world. <laughs> um, so they, they murdered me again, but I eventually got my stuff back. But the chest with all the stuff in it basically got got blown up. So we got a little bit of, of coal. Um, I've been trying to process a, what little bit I had left. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, this is working away. Got another few stacks at least. So that was something. I want to have some more coal coke produced for, because I mean, if I'm just leaving this running, it's going to completely run out of power. Um, it's lasted quite a long time though. I mean, that was obviously a lot of coal coke, but... I was able to just leave this running and go and do other things, especially with that that chunk loader here. Um, so this was, I think, a great investment right here. So we've got 7.88 hours left. So it's been, what's that, like four hours since, <laughs> since that last clip? Um, yeah, but you know, we've got, we've got one bag. The second one's getting produced now. Um, just gotta get a couple more made and then we're, we're good to go and I can start getting tons and tons of resources and hopefully, hopefully make some more technological progress. And I've got a few other ideas as well. That's why I'm kind of pushing to get all this stuff done. Um, there's a few little projects I want to work on. There's a couple with Grimm, some things we're going to work on. Uh, you'll probably have seen that episode by the time this one comes out because um, I'm getting a little bit ahead with the videos here. Um, and a couple of little personal ones I want to do as well. So... I want to get all this technology sorted out. But for now, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.